So our green list had to be updated. This is a reboot, guys. There's just so many new greens. We love green. I Hey, look at she's wearing green. I, I came prepared. Blue, green. <laughs> um, they kind of complement one another. But you can't have green without blue. No, you can't. Okay. If we're going to update this list, we want 20 new greens, and that's what we've got for you. And it seems somewhat effortless for that to come together, which should tell you how we feel about greens. Anyway, uh, this is a top 20 green list, ranked by the both of us, two years later. Yeah. Coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today we're going to talk about green fragrances. We've got 20 different green fragrances. Uh, we've got a few brands that have a few fragrances. Actually, one brand is a designer that has three fragrances. We have another designer that has two fragrances. But the rest of the fragrances are all one each from different uh, brands. But if this is your first time uh, tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews and discovering new brands and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So what do you like about green fragrances? I like when I'm walking around and I get a waft of fresh, clean, outdoorsy greenness, or not so outdoorsy greenness. Fresh, um, cl fresh clean green? You know, it's um, it kind of snuck up on me. It wasn't ever really anything I was that into. I had my one green, which is uh, Andrea Max Coven, that... Uh, which we featured in the last video. Which was, I think, number one in the last video. It is glorious. And then it kind of just snuck into my collection. I just keep getting drawn to... I had asked her two years ago when we did the other list. She was like, oh yeah, I love green. And, you know, so we decided to do the 20. But I love green. I just love the way green represents in fragrances. They could be fresh ones. They could be more hardier ones. I think the ones we have here are pretty hardy, right? Yeah, there's quite a mix here uh, in this in this little situation we're going to present here for you. You know, when you, when you think about perfume. When somebody smells like perfume, it's a floral or it's a resinous something. And green rarely has that effect, I think, other than possibly galbanum. But m most of the fragrances that are green, somebody smells nice and somebody smells clean. And and it, um, there's a whole kind of spectrum of greens, as he just said, to, to quote, you know, there's fresh greens, there's more perfumey galbanum greens, there's more aldehydic greens, there's... Lean, mean, green machine. Vegetal greens. Uh, yeah, we actually have one fragrance in here that has bell pepper in it. Vegetal. Literally, like, you can take a bite out of it. <laughs> there's a couple very strange ones in here. Wasabi, anyone? We have one with wasabi. There's a couple that are very... Uh, let's just get into it. They don't olive. Care. We have one that has olive. I actually have a green thumb. Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay, number 20. We're going with a fragrance called Bay 19 from the house of Le Labo. So this one's all about patchouli, juniper, ambroxan, ozonic notes, musk green notes. It's very green and patch heavy, and it does really have a... I, I am, as previously um, discussed, a patch hoe. And this one didn't quite seem like the combination really came together. Does it not smell like the earth just before it's going to start raining, like there's it's that... It's medicinal. It's, um... It's very earthy to me. It's sort of like, um, what's that vapor rub stuff? Like, um... Vicks? <laughs> it doesn't smell like Vicks to me. Yeah, there's something sort of... I know what you mean about the... It smells like petrichor to me is what it smells like. Yeah. It's, um... It's number 20. Okay, it's number 20. At number 19... Dusita Erawan. Yes. Is that... Let's this see. is lots of hay. In fact, I didn't really care for it when I first uh, got this fragrance, but it has really grown on me. I recently wore it, and I decided to put it on this list. Unfortunately, I think it's not as green. That's why it's lower. It's lower, but it is green and not green at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It looks green. Yeah, the color is definitely green. <laughs> it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. But it feels green. It's not as green as some of the other ones but it um it feels it has a it has an out not outdoorsy exactly but like a to me it smells like a forest near a barn where they have a lot of hay because there's a lot of hay in this fragrance vanilla clary sage green notes lily of the valley I think it's very green huh i don't get any forest but grasslands for sure this is like marshlands no grasslands like the prairie 
as in Laura Ingalls. The other thing, oh, <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> the other thing that's really unique about this one, there is this weird chocolate undertone. Yes. Yes, especially on you. Yeah, chocolate like comes through. I don't get where that's coming from. Well, uh, you know what? If I was green chocolate hiking through the prairie, I'd want to have some chocolate on hand. Okay. Because we need snacks. We do need snacks. Okay. All right. This next one is at number eighteen. Juice box green bubble. This one is weird. This smells like cannabis, amber, honey, warm wood, cedar, sandalwood, saffron, and you should like warm wood, girl. I. This one is so weird. Why is it weird to you? It's. It's so weird. I sprayed this and I, I hated it. And then I just kind of almost have to have respect for how weird and different it is. There is nothing. This smells like, it smells like gasoline. It's weird. It's, um, it doesn't smell like perfume. It smells like green gasoline with marijuana and smoke and incense. Do you like the smell of gasoline? It's a cool bottle, it's a cool brand, there's a little record, it's called Green Bubble, it's weird. Weird is, weird can be weird good. Weird is good. I don't want to wear this particular weird, but I'm glad it's out there in the world. Anyway, Green Bubble at number 18. Now this next one's very unique. Weird. It's Step Aboard and it's Bosco Sospeso. The spray is very intense. This is a very, very unique fragrance. It's like a paint can. And then you just basically go like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is all tomato leaf, pettigrain, patchouli, absinthe, pittosporum, created by um, Bertrand Duchafu. It's I a hair and body perfume. I love the way this smells, the green and patchouli. It's very tomato leaf. I do like that. Yeah? I like it on you. I loathe the presentation. Bottle. I. It's very millennial to me. It's kind of... I smell good. No, it's like gone in 20 seconds, though. It's very, like... I bet I, if they're going to put it on hair, it probably it's not like a... Mm. It's not like a strong perfume. It, the presentation. Step aboard. It, it's not to my taste. I am not the target audience. But I like tomato leaf, and I like that they're pushing the envelope. Anyway, step aboard's Bosco Sospeso. I think it's very Italian, obviously. Speaking of Italian, we have another Italian brand. It's Cartusia Essence of the Park. At 16. At 16, this is Artemisia Magnolia Linden Blossom Honeysuckle. It's a very, um, it's on the lighter side to me yeah. uh, because there is a perfume version of it, the Eau de Parfum or the pure perfume version of it. This is a Eau de Toilette, I believe, or an Eau de Parfum, I can't remember, but it, it swears light. So it's perfect for a colder, I mean, I'm sorry, warmer, warmer days. And then you just put on this very green, fresh floral, green leaves. Uh, uh, fragrance. This it is all... perfectly pleasant. It's very nice and it's very light. It's very light, yeah. I like Artemisia. Um, I like all the ingredients. Artemisia is sort of co close to like our favorite note of uh, wormwood and um, anise. I'm pretty consistent with liking the same things over and over again. Anyway, Essence of the Park from Carthusia. Carthusia. Okay, this is a fragrance we reviewed some time ago, maybe a couple months ago. Comme des Garçons Copper. And this is number... 15? Number 15. Copper is a, it is copper colored, but it's very green, green to us, but not as much as the others. It's not the greenest of the greens. It's not the greenest of the greens. It's green, but not so green. But it's really nice. It's, um... Galbanum, tobacco, yeah. amber. But it's like a metallic sort of a soft sort of a galbanum. A sexy galbanum. Crunchy. Do you get crunchy? Let me smell that. There's a vegetal, very vegetably quality to to it, which a I, crunchy vegetable, but I, I in a good way. It's like a like chomping on um, broccoli stalks. It is not like that. But it's, <laughs> it smells like ordinarily. I don't like cucumber. There's a cucumber quality here that I do like. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's so good actually. I really love this one. I really like this one. It's not the greenest on the list. That's the only reason it's a little further down. It's kind of green with other things, um, but oh, it's so good, girl. You know you like that. Fragrance. I do. It's, I really like that on you. The the it's a nice blend of the tobacco and the galbanum. Fourteen. Number fourteen. Bottega Veneta Lauro. I recently featured this in a aromatic fragrances video. It's very aromatic. Bay laurel, rosemary, sage, black pepper, labdanum. Gal, no, not galvanum, geranium. It's very aromatic experience. Do you like the smell of bay leaves and laurel? 
I love laurel. I could take bay leaves or leave them. But aren't they the same family? I don't bay know. Bay laurel? Are they called bay laurel? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I do know a lot of plants, but the laurel is not one that I that I know. Um, this one has a sort of a menthol kind of a eucalyptic. <laughs> Eucalyp <laughs> Eucalyptic. Eucalyptic. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? If somebody came up. Oh, hey. <laughs> there, there we go. Um, that smells good. I'm run out of fingers. No, it smells really, it's nice. It's not the, it's not green in the traditional sense of like, it's, but the, you, it's eucalyptus-y. I, I agree with her about the medicinal. I think bay leaves do go medicinal. They almost remind me of eucalyptus. It, it, like a Hall's cough drop. In fact, I mentioned yes. it in my aromatic video. It does have that about it, but there's something really good about this. No, it's, it's really very, good. very green. It's really good, but it's in the bottom 10 because it's not like green. Now, do you know this brand, Bottega Veneta? I do. They have... So apparently, somebody Index. also corrected me. They said it's Ven Veneta, not Veneta. Veneta. Is that true? Do you know? I Guys, don't. do you know? But I really, so what's very clever, I'm going to put this right up in front of the camera for you so you can see the bottle and the way it's kind of that design. They're quite well known for making handbags that have woven leather pieces like that. So I suspect. I really love their leather wear. Mm. They're really nice. Apologies to Italy today for our mispronunciation of your language. Typically Bottega it's France that Veneta. we've offended. Bottega Veneta. Now we can add Italy to the list of <laughs> people who are offended. So this next one is from the house of Nishane. This is Ambra Calabria. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this one? I, and what do you hate about this one? You love I this really one. love this I one. I know you love this one. It's, I, it's, it's not the greenest one on the list, but it is a green... Green amber. Kind of a strange combination. You like to layer this one, I believe, yes? It's so good. Layer it? No, I don't know if I layer this one with anything. I can't remember. But it's for the hot days, summertime. It's a gourmand, which for me is I, not my favorite thing. Do you thing. consider it a gourmand? I, it has a gourmand kind of a I feel. I think maybe the amber acts like a gourmand. Yes, but it's sort of, um, it's a, it's like a, you know, oh, 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 I know what it's like. Other people who are not me are very, very into something called matcha. And it is a, I'm not into matcha. It's like a green tea thing, but it's made often into desserts. And this has this is a thing that is happening in the world right now. And I So this has matcha-like qualities? It, it has a very, something about it reminds me of like green tea ice cream. I can see that. Yeah? Yeah. Which is a thing. It's not my thing. Yeah. Not your jam? No. But <laughs> it's nice. It's really good, guys. <laughs> it's one of my favorites from Nishane. I would rank this in the top five of Nishane ah. fragrances. Ambra Calabria from Nishane. So this next one is from the house of L'Artisan Parfumé. This is Fuda Absinthe. Yes, Absinthe. Very green. Mm, this is Wormwood, uh, Balsam Fir, Star Anise, uh, Pine Needles. This is gorgeous on him. This one I had actually ranked lower because it didn't, uh, it didn't work for me, but on his... And you generally like Absinthe. I like I like the licorice green fairy and anise and <laughs> is that what it's known as the green it is, fairy? It is. Um, yes. Fun fact: I went to a spirits festival. Ooh. Yeah. Brilliant. This is what they do. This is absolutely brilliant. I every go to single, a... every single kiosk had samples. Mm. So by the time you're like down one row, you are blitz. <laughs> I bought bottles of spirits and I. Like woke up the next morning like what happened? You bought bottles I of know. spirits? I bought absinthe. I ended up giving people very nice holiday gifts that year because I, I, I don't even really drink very much. So, but the absinthe was really good. Love absinthe. It was... Love, love, love absinthe. Excellent. Anyway, Fuda Absinthe from the House of L'Artisan Parfumé. Mm -hmm. Really awesome stuff. This next one is from the House of Comme des Garçons again. This is Calamus. Ooh. This one's great on skin. This is so good. I don't know anything about this one, do you? Oh, look at that. It's nice. It's a, it's a, a different kind of vegetal. Yeah, like, it's angelica, celery seeds, pink pepper, red berries. Very unique combination. I love Comme des Garçons. I've become such a fan of their house now. Oh my God, this is mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. This used to be in a green bottle and they it was discontinued and then they brought it back in their olfactive or olfactory library of fragrances yeah series one leaves yeah so they know it's green it's green definitely green mm -hmm. it's so good though it smells really nice it's very springy all these fragrances are appropriate for spring don't you, don't you think i have to think about it no 
Yeah, they're very springy. I cannot tell you the context in which this is appropriate. <laughs> Spring in a bottle, guys. I digress. <laughs> anyway, Calamus from Comme des Garçons. Check it out. Top 10, guys. We have 10 more to go. Number 10, Galavant Tokyo. I like this one. This is my favorite Galavant fragrances. It's, it's green and not so green, but it made it to the top 10, and I think what's doing it is the... The wasabi. That's what's giving it the green vibe. And then it's also an the edge. hinoki. It's got just such an edge to it. Do you get the zinginess from that wasabi, the bite? Anyway, cardamom, hinoki wood, incense, amber, black pepper, wasabi. Yeah, it's... it's I, I disagree. I think this is quite green. Um, no, it's very green. It's very, like... I mean, it's a very Fresh, green, that's why the, it's on here. Yeah, and the wasabi does kind of give it a little twist, a little something different, because it could it could be very, like, same, 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 and that's... A little je ne sais quoi. It does, yeah. a little something, and the pepper's nice. Really nice. A great collection of fragrances. They're all inspired by gallivanting in different cities. This one's Tokyo. Mm. Have you gallivanted in Tokyo before? I have not. I've never either. Mm. Anyway, Tokyo <laughs> from the House of Gallivant. We should go. I want to go. Yeah. One day I will go. So this next one is a fragrance we reviewed uh, last year. It's Pierre Guillaume's Comorebi 9.1. It is at number 9. Mm -hmm. How did it end up at number 9 and this is 9.1? Amazing. Huh? <laughs> Probably because you finessed a little bit. This is also featured in our Mimosa fragrances video. It's Mimosa, but it has such a big mint, a dose of mint. It's very, very green Mimosa. Mm -hmm. And mimosa, not the drink, but the flower, the yellow flower. Mm -hmm. And this was with CGO. This is a good collection of fragrances. Not a lot of people talk about this collection, but... Uh, it used to be called Parfumerie Generale. Yeah, Parfumerie Generale. He rebranded, and he has three different collections. This is uh, all under Pierre Guillaume now, mm -hmm. and this is uh, 9.1 Comorebi. It's a nice, fresh... And again, a little bit different in the same way that Tokyo has the wasabi that's just a little bit different. This has the mint, making it a little bit different. Not that there aren't a lot of other fragrances with mint, but... Um, but you gotta, you gotta love mimosa because it is in your face mimosa. It's very, very yellow flower. It's a little powdery. Soft. It is very soft. It's baby soft is what I would say this one is. Anyway, Comorebi 9.1 from um, Pierre Guillaume. Mm. This next one is from the house of uh, Orza El Legrand. This was featured in my spring fragrances video. This is Deja Le Printemps. This means spring already, or already spring. Deja? Isn't that next to you? Almost? No, it is almost. Almost spring, right? Almost spring or spring already? Whatever. Hey, guys. <laughs> tell us. French speakers, tell us what this name is. Deja Le Printemps. So this is uh, fig leaf grass or green grass, clover, mint, chamomile, cedarwood. It's spring in a bottle. It's, it's a bouquet. Again, soft, a soft feeling to it. Mm. Um, the, the fig leaf has a peppery quality. There's also a bit of a powdery quality here. The grass is very green. The grass is always green. The clover note and the mint, it's a very, very unique concoction. It's very springy. It's like, it's a spring in a bottle, basically. Unisex, um, but delicate. It's a very delicate fragrance. It's, it's, spring is delicate. It's a delicate season. Yeah, like new, new... Newborn, new a new growth. life, yeah. Yeah. Very delicate. Young, young is mm -hmm. basically what I would go with. Or is it Grand Deja La Printemps? And uh, this next one is from the house of Foa. This is uh, number I two. I love this one. I know. You reacted so interestingly, uh, lovingly to this fragrance. It doesn't hurt that it's bejeweled or a giant jewel. Incense, pine, palm tree, musk, bergamot, juniper, and woody notes. It's a very, very green concoction. And, and it's got that, wait, wait. Magnetic! Whoa! So cool. There's yes. something about this that reminds me a little bit of that line Burdu. It has that kind of um, almost like a watercolor effect, like a wash of... Um, oh, it's so good. It's really pretty. If you've ever spelled palm, <sighs> palm tree note... I don't... Here's a me. That's nice. I love palm trees it's to very begin different with. On us. I don't know. I love palm trees. I just... California. Yeah, hello. Well, this I'm the is... Middle Eastern guy, so... Oh, that, that, that's other parts <laughs> of the... Yeah. And I love dates, too. I love to eat dates. I... We're hungry. We're going to go get lunch after this, <laughs> BT Dubs, but I, this one, like, I really like it. It's good. It's not like an overwhelming fragrance. It's a very nice, pleasant 
signature kind of a fragrance, right? You wear it every day, smell great. Safe for work, um, but but a little bit spicy and shimmery. And yeah, there are some sparkles in mm -hmm. there, spicy mm -hmm. sparkles. Anyway, that's FOA number two. Number okay, number no, no, FOA number two as in the number of the, oh. the name of the fragrance, yes. but that's number seven. And this is number six, it's Diptyque Tempo, the greenest patchouli ever. It is very green patchouli. So good though. What? That's Who says that's bad? Green patchouli. Nobody says it's bad. Yeah, it's good. This is all about patchouli, mate, clary sage, pink pepper, violet leaves, bergamot. And to me, I feel like this smells like, uh, the, you know, the new fragrance from this house, Au Capital. Um, if you remove the rose in there, it smells like this. Or if you add the rose in here, it smells like that. So It has a sort of... Um... Again, uh, almost, not eucalyptus, but something like that. Uh, a little bit medicinal with the greenness. Petrichor? Uh, bracing, sort of a... A good brace or a bad brace? Good. good no, brace. it's really good. Uh, but it's uh, something like uh, the opening up your 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 breathing, like eucalyptus or, or some bay leaves you were saying before, but... Vapor rub. But maybe... <laughs> Right. I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I feel like this is probably the strongest out of the whole entire list next to the juice box. Um, the juice box. Green bubble. As previously mentioned. Yeah. It's very strange. But it's a big, it's a big strange. Good strange. Good big strange. Big good strange. Strange. Tempo from the house of Diptyque. All right. We have one more from the house of Bottega Venet Veneta. Top five. I have to get a bottle of this. Olive it's oak. amazing. I love this one. It's gorgeous. I'm surprised you like this one. Why? I like olives. You do? And all things pickled. Oh, I love olives. Me too. You like pickles? I'm a pickle. <laughs> pickle. <laughs> pickle. Pick, we'll, we'll finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I love things that are pickled too. Me too. Yeah, this is so good though. Oh my gosh, it's glorious though. It doesn't smell like olives actually. It's, um... I, I know, it doesn't really smell like, like pickled or, um, what do you call it? Brined olives? But, but there's olives? something sort of, um... I've actually been in olive groves, and there is something... You and I both. My dad used to... Yeah, my pinky. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good, guys. This is so good. It's very, very green. Green notes, vetiver, mm. patchouli, cedar. I love it. Yeah. And I'm happy this is at number five, because we decided it at number five. But the list is getting greener and greener, and wait until you it see... It is very green. It's unexpected. I, you, you don't smell this everywhere. It's not like every line has an olive something themed. I mean, it's... Uh, I've been looking for the olive fragrance forever. I used to have L'Occitane's olive products, mm. and I love the way oh, it smells. Oh, that is what it smells like. A little it reminds bit. me a little bit of that, but this is a unique thing on its own. Yeah, but it also has a little bit of patchouli, and there's other sort of woodsy feels to it, but it's, it is very green and sort of, but it's not as, it's not as spring as some of the other greens on the list. Mm. This might even be like a slightly autumnal green. Okay. I get it. Gorgeous. Bottega Veneta Olivo. And this next one is from the house of Comte de Garçon again. Again. Serpentine. Oh my god, it's so good. It's green grass. So good. Aldehydes, green notes, musk, juniper, yum, yum, yum. Yes. So this one. Love, love, love. I, I saw somebody else post on Instagram about like gym scents. I didn't even know that was a thing. You didn't? I didn't know that was a thing. I've done so many videos and people complain about it because. Don't wear fragrances to the gym. But you can. I wear fragrances to the gym. Elephant by Zoologist is one, and Serpentine by Comte des Garçons is Elephant another. Elephant was also featured in our last green video. Because it's really good. Really this green. This is fabulous. Like it's if so you're good. Out, I okay. Now I didn't know it was a. I didn't know gym scents were a thing. Really, I shouldn't. I should like leave the house more or something. But <laughs> when I'm outside running, which is a new thing that I'm working on, wearing this. It's so nice to occasionally get like a waft of this fresh, green grass, green goodness. It just makes me feel like I'm at one with the world. This one's really nice, and the it's name it's good. I love serpentine. it. Serpentine, which doesn't really make sense to me, but I guess maybe they slither around the green grass and. There's a song by Roxy Music called Mother of Pearl where he sings about serpentine sleekness. Mm, okay. I always love that phrase. Interesting. Um, yeah, no, it generally refers to. Um, slithering it's often used as an adjective well you know what there is a very jelly like quality to this i was telling you gelatinous earlier yeah. this really like a gulp gloppy vegetal vegetal yeah which it's, i can see sounds gross but isn't it's not it's so good but it's also very very green so that's why it's not number mm. four so this next one is from the house of le parfums de rosine it's eloge du verte this one right here that's gorgeous 
Oh my god, it's so good. It's like a, a nice combination of peppery uh, bell pepper with roses. And uh, the house is known for roses, and that's why they make fragrances with roses in them. But this one decides to go in a green direction. This, he just kind of, oh, this matches me. Oh, wow. Check that out. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. so good. It's so good. Beautiful. It's very, very good. And the name Vert classy. is in there. It's classy. Yeah. It's a classy green. It's a, it's a little more full-bodied than some of the other ones on this list. Yeah, definitely. Um, but you don't notice it as a rose. No. No, but, and bell pepper, like, you don't think about that being do something you, you want to wear. Yeah, I do. Totally. Not, like, cooked bell pepper. No. Like, fresh, like. Fresh, raw. Yeah, like, chopped. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It does hint at a little bit of Wicked Love by the House of Maison Margiela. It goes really well with the rose. It does, yeah. It's like chopped bell pepper and rose. Good lord. But it's it's unexpected. It's different, but it's elegant. It's so good. Two thumbs up. Good yeah. job. And it matches. Yeah. Le Parfums de Rosine et Loger de Verte. Number two. So at number two, we're going with Mousse Illuminé from the House of Rogue Perfumery. Mm -hmm. Yes. That one's good. This is all about uh, the um, oak moss. It's a very creamy, shaving cream-like oak moss to me. How'd you find out about it? Oh, I've already mentioned to them many times <laughs> that I found out about it through you. This girl bought a bottle of it from uh. Etsy, and I bought a bottle of it from uh, Lucky Scent Scent yeah. Bar in uh, New York City. This to me smells like Irish Spring soap, but elevated. Do you use Irish Spring soap? I haven't for Those years. Those cheesy commercials? Oh my god, they're so good though. <laughs> there's a new one. There's, there's, you, you specifically <laughs> sent me that commercial. I'm like, okay. It's with love. It's with love? Yes, because I wanted you to know they were still on the air. The only problem that I see, I mentioned in my last video, in the spring video that I featured this, it's because of this fragrance that I got my poison oak. Oh, because you want... <laughs> So I hope you don't get it. I hope it's not on the bottle and you don't get it. I hope so too. Anyway. There's also like an anise almost kind of like a licorice-y quality but it to is, it. Yeah, there is because it's, um, he's got Artemisia, which is oh, okay. similar to licorice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which kind of also takes it away from Irish Spring because I feel like I keep saying that and it doesn't smell like that soap. No, it does not. Don't It's don't elevated. Worry. It's like if you, if, if Irish Spring was an inspiration and then you went in a very glamorous direction. That's why we both like it. We love licorice. It's really good. If you haven't noticed, we love licorice. And also this is a very like dense, like powerful. But do you get the creamy qualities? The creamy qualities remind me of shaving soap or shaving cream. Like you used to come, it used to- Barbasol. It used to come out of cans like this. That is a terrible presentation. Did I mention? <laughs> anyway, this is Rogue Perfumery Mousse Illumine, guys, at number two. What's at number one? French Lover at number one. Gorgeous. So you ranked this, um, dead middle. Dead middle on the we did We did a Frederick Mall video and I was a super turbocharged snob in that ranking because I was judging Frederick Mall against Frederick Mall. Um, and I think what are you I judging even, now? Green I'm, against green? Right. Because <laughs> now it's Frederick Mall against other brands. And it it's sort of like... So this kicks everybody's ass? In a word... Yes. The French lover kicks the ass of all of these other fragrances. That's a very strange visual, <laughs> but um, it's beautifully crafted. Angelica Vetiver Galbanum Cedar Spices Oak Moss Incense Musk. It's a wonderful fragrance. Very, very classy. Mm. Very crunchy, green, cucumbery kind of a... It's got so many elements of the different types of green fragrance in one. Um, it's really beautiful. And it's got that Frederick Mall kind of like... Now tell us about this. This is targeted to men. You would wear it, so the ladies would... I'd wear it. Because sometimes ladies get on But my, French Lover is not, my... I mean, gender specific. I know it's marketed to men, but unlike Monsieur, which is annoyingly named... Now you know it used to be called Bois d'Orage here in the States. They recently changed it, like, within the last year. What was it called? Bois d'Orage. What does that mean? Orage? Thunder? Storm? Thunder, like... Wood? Storm? Weird. Anyway, I think that's what it was called. But anyway, it's now French Lover here in the States, too, mm. as everywhere else, because there was a thing or some something against calling it French Lover in the States. We don't like that, I guess. I don't know. It will, are we going back to Freedom Fries? <laughs> I don't know. It was during the time of Freedom Fries when this was launched, I think. Oh. I think. Anyway, French Lover, guys, that's number one. Check it out. It's an awesome scent. 
It's very really unisex, good. even though it's targeted to the men. Okay. We have we have complete alignment on this ranking for yeah. once. We rank these together. Yes. She's not ranking my favorites. <laughs> we chose this list together. Anyway, guys, let, let us know. Do you like these fragrances? Are you a fan of green fragrances or green notes and fragrances? Which one stands out the most to you? And if you have any of them, let us know so we can find out. And if you have recommendations for green fragrances, also put that down for next time. We can do another one of these videos in two years. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.